Howdy folks! On the 23rd of June, this Saturday, is the Swedish holiday Midsummer. And to celebrate this occasion, we're making the very popular Christmas casserole. And it goes by the name of your Johnson's Temptation. The name, don't ask. Now usually this is a lame-ass dish made out of potatoes and breadcrumbs. Want well, none of that in my house. We're gonna use celery root and flax seeds. You dig? Go to the store and buy two onions, two celery roots, two to three hundred grams of anchovies, depending on how much temptation you want in your Johnson, three deciliters of fine cream, three tablespoons of flax seeds, and at least 200 grams of butter. Start by melting the butter in a pan, peel your onions and dice them up nicely. Then fry them in the pan. Let the onions get golden brown on medium heat and meanwhile cut the celery root into french fry rods, like so. And always keep an eye on the onion fry. If all is good in the hood, bring out a glass oven plate, butter it up and start by making a first layer of your celery french fries in there. And then break open a can of fine anchovies. Bonjour, mon vieux. And what you do is you alternate the celery french fries, the onions and the fish until there is no material left. Do not throw away that empty can. You can actually salvage the anchovies oil by pouring it all over the dish. And do the same for those three deciliters of cream as well. And instead of breadcrumbs, we low carb fanatics top off with flax seeds. You could also put a little butter on top if you like it like that. Salt it up properly and the same goes for those black peppers. Throw it into the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for about one hour and once you take it out, it should look like it has been baked for about one hour in the oven. Ready to be served on a plate. Remember to douse in the Johnson sauce gravy that is found at the bottom of the glass plate. Enjoy with the low carb bread, with your low carb friends, and a beverage like, I don't know, water?